everybody and happy Vlogmas day three technically. It's actually fourth, but I have an explanation you guys. So if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you know why this video is late, but in case you don't follow me over there, which I'm offended. Um, we had a little issue. So we had planned on filming our vegan holiday baking video and posting that yesterday. But unfortunately when we went to go film, I realized that the little piece, like the base piece that connects my camera to my tripod, my DSLR, which I haven't filmed on in so long, we just use that to take photos. I left it in Minnesota. Looked around some stores in LA and they did not have the exact um, mount that I needed for my tripod. So I had to order one off of Amazon, but the earliest I can get it is tomorrow or technically today when you're watching this. So you are probably gonna get two videos today. Hope you're not too bad at me. Sorry for this shaky camera. I really need to get a mount for the car so I can just have the camera chilling and I don't have to keep holding it. So it's super shaky. But until then, hello. We are going to the butcher, the baker, the cappuccino maker. It's this really cute little uh, brunch spot, lunch spot. I've never been to it. It's in West Hollywood. It looks just so cute. So we thought we might as well go since our video today just kind of failed. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to do today. Potentially, I'm going to maybe go to a showroom, this brand to that invited me to a showroom. They're actually in West Hollywood, so I thought it'd be kind of nice since I'm already all the way out here to just kind of pump it out. Also, I'm wearing this really fun little PJ top that I got at the party the other day, at the PJ party, and they were giving away, like we got two goodie bags with two PJs in them and slippers, which was so fun. And this was one of the tops, and I was like, you know what, these tops are so in right now. Like, if it wasn't marketed as a PJ top, you would never even think twice about it. Alex thinks it's so weird, but I think he's, I think it's growing on him, right? Is it growing on Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's literally not weird. Like they sell these tops just, and they just call them like blouses and it's a thing. It's a thing he just doesn't even know. Probably gonna take it out the photo when I'm there. I need to post to the gram today. I have a couple shipments from Revolve and Shop Up that are supposed to deliver today and tomorrow. And then we also have some Zara orders that we ordered from Black Friday, I believe that are finally gonna come tomorrow, hopefully. It's been a while. I need to shoot those, some clothes, like hopefully tomorrow maybe. And then I also have a sponsored post that I need to film for the brand, but I just sent over my concepts last night. So once they approve that review, then I'll be good to go to shoot that. But I have some really fun ideas for that. So I'm planning on like showing you guys like a little behind the scene of how we take that. Because so many of you guys always ask me like, what was it taking some of our photos? So that'd be fun to show you. But hopefully that'll happen either later today or tomorrow. Over here, you guys, is the famous Beverly Hills Hotel. I texted Nicole saying we need to come here for brunch one of these days because I've always been wanting to go here for brunch. It's so freaking cute. You guys, this is also one of my favorite restaurants. It's a chain, but it's so good. It's called Zokaya. It's Mexican, but it's really good. Try it. Ooh, veggies, sweet potato fries, potato bites. I need it all. This also sounds so good. <laughs> It looks so proper. You get the vegan grain bowl? It's definitely not. It looks really good. It looks so good, or the avocado toast. This avocado toast looks so good too. It's like, what do I do? Also, the butternut squash soup sounds so good. Maybe we should get some sides, like vegetable sides. Yeah. Brussels sprouts, yum. Roasted curry cauliflower, yum. Potato bites, yum. Brussels sprouts right now. I love, I know. You guys, I hated Brussels sprouts, but now I'm like I told, I told you. What did you tell me? Like, to me, they tasted like feet for 23 years of my life, and then I don't know what happened to me, you guys. I, I just something clicked. I got my matcha. This is such a good matcha. Like, even Alex liked it. He is not a fan of matcha. He's a big fan. We also got the side of Brussels sprouts, which looks so good. Oh my gosh. And it comes on this cute little pan. And I got the vegan grain bowl with the marinated tofu, carrots, radishes, looks like some avocado, carrots, and grapefruit. Oh my gosh. So yum. Alex got the butternut squash soup. Looks also really good. And the buttermilk biscuit. <laughs> he loves the gluten. Even if life on the North Pole is cold. 
at those chins. How many chins? <laughs> Guys, we just left Butcher Baker Cappuccino Maker. That was so good. Don't you agree? Like that food was... It was so good. Brussels sprouts were on point. My grain bowl was amazing. His soup was so good. But um, since we are trying to kill some time, because I got into my showroom at like 2.30. Um, we're doing something I want to do. We're doing something Alex wants to do, which is, I don't know what we're doing, just chilling. Um, taking in a view. Taking in a view. We're, he drove us to the top of Laurel, or is this called Laurel Canyon? Yeah. Not the top of it, but like the outlook spot. We're up it, and then we take a right on Mulholland. On Mulholland Drive, and we are just going to take in the view. It's a beautiful day. I'm in heels, so. <laughs> Crikey, look at that view. So pretty. Creep on all the amazing houses over there. Can you imagine just like living up in here? One day, Simba, everything the light touches will be yours. <laughs> One day, this will all be yours. Who you Remember are. Who you are. <laughs> Crikey, look at that house. Still not over the fact that it is 70 degrees in LA in December. Just so insane. It's so nice. I've just been, we've been sitting out here on the bench for like, I don't know, probably over half hour. Okay guys, we are now at the showroom. We're just walking over there right now. And I'm gonna show you when I get inside. This one is for the brand Band of Gypsies and Canyon Country. They have Daydreamer LA um, t-shirts as well, but I think they have some of their holiday collections in. So they invited me to come over and pick out some goodies. I'm so excited. All right, so I just got into the showroom and it's all these goodies right here. So I'm gonna start sifting through the racks, see what I find. Also look how cute these are, you guys. They're corduroy. It's like an olive green, which would be kind of fun because I wear like all black all the time. But these ones, are all black, which I also love. Mm. So cute. everything first and see. Get a good glimpse. Ooh, I like this. Just turn the neck. Put you up in the middle. This makes me want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Bay. They're so cute. Alex goes, I'm not taking a photo there. <laughs> Guys, I think the Team 10 house is like one of these houses. I can tell if we're on the same street, but it's definitely around here. Oh, hey guys. We just got back from the showroom. Voila! So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. Unfortunately, all the shoes that I wanted were all in size eights or seven and a half. So like zero of the shoes were sixes or six and a half. So I ended up just getting two of the items and then no shoes because everything else was unfortunately not my size, but that's totally fine. The first thing I got was this top or it's a bodysuit actually from Band of Gypsies. The sleeves look super fun as well. The only other item I picked up from them was the same pattern. These like wide leg pants and they're so fun and it has a really stretchy back. So I feel like these are gonna be so incredibly comfortable. I'm picturing wearing this with one of my plain white tees hide, if that makes any sense. I just untucked my top, but I thought it would look so cute with high-waisted jeans like this. I've been looking for more blouse kind of tops. I feel like that looks so cute with Levi's. Definitely going to start expanding my blouse collection. And then they also had some skincare stuff, which lab knows I have 
I have a lot of skincare, but I thought I would grab a couple of these things and try them out. It's by the brand Skin Authority. Have you guys ever heard of Skin Authority? I actually have never heard of it before, so I'm very intrigued. But one of the products is called their Moisturizing Mist. It has grapeseed infusion and antioxidants and vitamins to restore moisture and balance, which is great for me because I have very dry skin. Woo, that is an intense mist. After spraying regular facial mist with the Olay one, I definitely can notice now like how fine the Olay mist is, which I really definitely like. So for sprays like this, I have to remember to like put them farther away from my face because they are very intense. I love like refreshing my face regardless. Five day dramatic eye lift, wider, brighter, and tighter. Sounds a little interesting. He said these are like under eye um, masks or whatnot. And he said they were like, you can see a huge difference just with one of the uses. So I'm excited to try that because I love under eye products. Oh, hi, Caitlin. Oh, hey, Nug. The next product is their Super C Serum. Super C Serum. So this is like a vitamin C product, which body's natural form of vitamin C with antioxidants helps increase uh, skin firmness. It gave me the Daily Defense Moisturizer and it has SPF in it, SPF 30, which is really high actually. And I've been looking for a moisturizer with um, higher SPF protecting against hyperpigmentation or from it darkening, which is my main skin problem right now. And then the last product is, you look like a Death Eater. Alex's Zara order just got here from Black Friday, so he's very excited. Come over here, you look like a Death Eater. What's up? Do you need to see my dark mark? Okay, and then the last product I got from them is the Beauty Infusion Quinoa and Avocado Hydrating Oil. I don't know. So those are all the products that I just got from the showroom. And then I did just get a package from Urban Outfitters that I had ordered from either Cyber Monday or Black Friday. I can't remember. So I don't remember what I got. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wait, I got this? Must have blocked out. I don't remember that I got this. I can't remember if I got this for a friend for Christmas. I don't know, maybe I did. I don't remember anything. But this is the Dream Dust by Moon Juice. They have a Moon Juice in Venice and um, I've tried like their adaptogenic, ugh, I'm so mad you guys. Their adaptogenic like blend um, protein powder that I did a post on last year or like March I think. We accidentally left it at our old place when we were moving out and I'm so sad because it was this huge jar and I used it like every single day. It was so good. Um, adaptogens are super good for like protecting your body against stressors. So highly recommend that product. It's so good. I wanted to try their other products. So they have all these dust. Dream Dust is an adaptogenic blend of tranquil super herbs that help combat the effects of stress to soothe the attention for deep nocturnal rest. I honestly feel like I got this for someone for Christmas. Oh, Alex got a turtleneck. It looks weird with those pants. You're gonna have to have like some non-holy pants. Do you have any like not edgy pants? I'm just ready for my TED talk. <laughs> I need my glasses on. <laughs> They're in my bathroom. He looks like Steve Jobs. <laughs> Come over here. Do you concur, Caitlin? I, I, I can concur, yes. I concur as well. Ted Talk done. I need to go answer some emails now. Hmm. Whoa. Just got emails. See another f synchronicity. You guys, today is so weird. So, you know, Merc Mercury Retrograde just ended. Thank the f Lord because I feel like everyone is feeling its effects so highly. I didn't even realize it was Mercury retrograde, but I was like, why is everything going wrong? And then finally I looked it up and I was like, oh, it's because Mercury retrograde is going on in full force. It was testing me, let me tell you. There's been so many synchronicities today. Stupid ones, but all in one day. So first of all, I was creeping my friend's Instagram earlier that I went to school with in Nebraska. I was like, oh, I haven't, I haven't talked to him in a while. And then he texts me as I'm creeping him. So I was like, okay, that's weird. But also creeping on someone else. Um, like an hour later in the car, um, one of Sarah's friends in Nashville. So random, right? And then I get a Snapchat from Sarah as I'm creeping her friend. And she sends me a Snapchat about her friend. I'm like, okay, what are the chances? Sarah sends me so many Snapchats during the day. like. Why would she send me one about her friend? And then I was in the car just thinking, not on Instagram, um, I was just thinking about my friend Justine, the my dancer friend. And then I get a text message from her as I'm thinking about her. I'm like, what is going on? And she texts me about taxes, like something so random. Today is just bizarre, folks. What's going on? I don't know, what does this mean? Gotta figure it out. Why don't you post your schedule online? <sighs> 
A lot of people on Instagram lately have been doing this fun thing where they post their agendas, kind of comical. I'm just like, if you're watching this and you're one of those people, I'm lightly making fun of you, but like in a loving way, you know what I mean? Like we can all make fun of ourselves for all the weird things that we do. I, I can come up with a list for myself, but it's just weird that like the new like trend is posting on our stories about what we're doing that day. Like every, like an agenda and everybody's like, all the bloggers are kind of all the same. And it's like, edit photos, go eat and take photos, <laughs> go back and edit those photos, go unbox all of my packages that I got today, go engage with people on Instagram for an hour. I'm like, what is that? Like, it's just so bizarre to me. You look like straight out of Harry Potter, where's your wand? <laughs> Wait, why do you still have my glasses on? Doesn't that hurt? I have really bad eyesight. Yeah, I can't see anything. You guys, I have negative 4.5 eyesight. You definitely don't have 20-20 because your eyes are like a little wonky, but that's gotta hurt. Oh my God, you look so scary. You know what you look like? I think you look like the guy from Fantastic Beasts, Credence. <laughs> Help me. Guys, I just got my Revolve package. I'm so happy this actually delivered today. I was getting worried, guys. Honestly, I don't even remember what I ordered, so this is very exciting. I do remember I ordered some leggings, but that is about all I remember. Wait. I guess I didn't order leggings because I don't have any leggings in this package. See, this is what happened. Oh, you know what? I ordered them from Shopbox. First thing that I ordered were these pants. Um, they're like, okay, I know these are kind of crazy. So I wanted to order these and see if they would even fit me lengthwise because pants are always such a gamble when your short is so cozy. I thought how fun would these be to wear with all black plain top tee. Some mules. Oh. I love that. I'm obsessed with leopard print, anything leopard print. I'm like, sign me up. The other thing that I got is, I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. The big bomber jacket, it's oversized, but I got a small, but it's supposed to be oversized. I'm too lazy to unbutton it because my camera's about to die. But just picture this with high-waisted black full leather skirt and a white tee or black tee underneath it or bodysuit. Ooh, yes. Or my over the knee boots. That would be so cute. I'm gonna keep answering some emails and I will charge my battery while I'm doing that. Okay guys, it is dinner time. Alex made my favorite soup ever, which is the chicken pot pie soup from, I think the Hot For Food cookbook. Oh my gosh, this is unreal. Like the cookbook is worth getting just for this recipe. I swear to God, but it'll change your life. Thanks babe. Hey. Love you. you well, because we didn't get to film our vegan baking video like we were so excited to. Alex decided he wanted to make some cookies anyway tonight. <laughs> just some chocolate chip cookies. One of those days. It is one of those days, honestly. Let's use an ice cream scoop so that they're all the same size so that they all bake at the exact same time. Don't mind if I do. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. It's like straight up edible dough since there's no egg. I love dough. It's so good. You just dropped some dough, that's a sin. Quit saying dough. <laughs> dough. Freaking hands. Do you like dough? You're dullable. <laughs> They're going in, coming in hot. In case you're wondering, I'm still eating. So while the cookies are baking, we are gonna start the Pixar story, which is a documentary about Pixar. We love Pixar, Pixar is the best. Uh, do you like Pixar? Pixar your favorite? What's your favorite movie? Do you like Inside Out? Do you like Toy Story, The Incredibles? <laughs> I know, there's so many good ones, how do you pick?